Hi everyone, this is Sajjad Hussain. I am an structural engineer. I am going to develop a small model in a stack and it, I will verify this with the results already published in the books. So what I am going to do, I am using a book, a Structural Analysis in Theory and Practice by Alan Williams and I am going to use one of its solve problem like this one and I will model this in a stack and I will analyze and I will try to get the same results as it is indicated over here. For example, in this model already nodes are numbered. So it will be very easy for me to model this with the same node numbers and their geometry and the loads and try to get the results. For example, the reactions are on the left hand side 15 kip and on the right hand side again the 15 kip. And in the solution, the result shows that in member P45 is zero. That means this member has zero force. And P12 this member has a force of 21.21 .21 kip. That means in this member P12, it is in compression and it has a force of 21.21 kips. So let us start our problem. So let me start start. New project. I will select this as a plane and let me name it as example 2.3 from Alan Williams book. I have selected the units in feet and kilo pound. Next. Okay. Finish. I will not use this generation of uh, nodes with the help of uh, this snap node facility. So let me close this one and I will input manually all these nodes. So for example, node number 1, let me put 0. So x is 0, y is 0 and z is 0. So this is my origin. Node number 2, it is x 10 y 10 no z node number 3 x 10 node number 4 is x is 20 y is 10 node number 5 x is 20 node number 6 x is 30 y is 10 node number 7 x is 30 y is 0 and node number 8 is x is 40 that's it and when I will see all these nodes over here in XY plane so they will look like this. Let me put the node number on okay so you can see same node numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Then I will join these nodes with simple beams like this. from 2 to 4, 4 to 6, and 6 to 8, 3 to 2, 5 to 4, 7 to 6, and these diagonal members. 
so my model is finished let me put the beam numbers also on so these are the beam numbers now I am going to assign the support conditions here it will be assigned with a hinge support it will be pinned assigned now this node has a roller support so to assign a roller support what I have to use I have to use this fixed but command I will release it in X direction I will not release in Y I will not release in Z and I will release the moments close fair enough now I'll select all the beams select all beams and I will assign any fictitious member to these because this is not important I'm not going to design it let me assign any fictitious member normally angles are used so I shall use any fictitious section like 40 40 by 4 now let me assign this so my model is complete since this is a truss so what we have to do I have to assign this all members as a, or this uh, structure as truss so let me select all beams and I will assign from member specification that these are truss members let me assign close so my structure is ready uh, I have to assign now the loads so I will go loads okay I can save it now no problem let me define the load cases I will select load case number one load type none because I'm not going to define any specific type of load for this one say add now I'm going to add the nodal loads here are the nodal loads in x oh sorry z direction there are 10 kip force I'll add this one and then I will assign this nodal load to these three nodes assigned to the selected nodes and here they are so all nodes here are assigned with 10 kip force now I have to uh, add a analysis command perform analysis I don't want any print right let me save my res input data file here it is there if I look at my input data file which is generated it will look like this very simple one let me analyze now this analysis result shows some warnings let us see what are those ah these are some stiffness as zero we will discuss this in some later videos at this point this is not the the, the concern these are just warnings so we will ignore this one i will go to post processing there is only one load case which is selected by default and first I will see the reactions so the reaction on the left hand side and right hand side both in vertical direction and they are 15 kip and if you remember the reactions were 15 kip that means the reactions are okay then the force in member 4-5 is zero that means this mid vertical member has no force let us see here 
so we will go to beams we will go to forces this is member number 10 we will go to member number 10 and here we can see 0 let me put these uh, sections off it will be easy then we also saw that in member number 1, 2, the reaction is 21.21 kip and it is in compression. So this is member number 1, 2, which is here for us member number 5. Let us go and see what are the forces in member number 5. So in member number 5, at node number 1, the load is in positive direction that means it is in this direction and in node number two it is in negative direction that means it is in this direction that means this member is in compression the result is 21.213 which is exactly the same as published in the book so what is the conclusion here we can conclude that we can use a stag to solve or to design any truss structure safely there is no problem at all now i am not going to check the deflection because i am not designing over here maybe in some other lecture i will demonstrate that the deflections are also compatible with the calculated values and I will also check that design of the steel structure like for example simple beams, column etc. They are also in line with the published literature or the as per the codes and standards. Mostly I will be following the American codes and standards. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to give some like if you like it. Thank you very much. Bye.